Hi Virgo, this is your extended reading for the 27th to the 2nd of April. You come in with the Three of Cups. So again, celebrations. The Ten of Cups is celebrations. The Three of Cups is celebrations. Awesome. So again, you could be reuniting with family and friends and creating a celebration uh, with family and friends. It, you've got a very good reading. You've got a very positive week ahead of you. Wow. Okay, now you also come in with the Chieftainess of the Swords. That's the Queen of Swords. So you could be meeting or dealing with a Libra prominently, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. This lady could be a single parent. This can, lady is not, doesn't have to be a lady. Of course, cards aren't sexist or discriminating. So it could be a man with a nurturing side, a very, very nurturing side, but still has his emotions or under control. It's a person. She's also known as the widow. That's why she's uh, considered to be a single parent. She has to think very sharp. Um, so that's why she has to keep her emotions under control. She has to think very quick because the swords is air and air represents swiftness and quickness. And she has to really do the walk and the talk. So perhaps she is going to talk, um, be your arbitrator, mediator or advisor. This could be um, a judge, a bookkeeper since we are in the tax um, season tax return season. Also, um, this can be a, a, a surgeon or a doctor, somebody that works or represents an institution or a municipality. You've also got the four of swords upside down. Like I said, you better take a rest and keep those emotions in balance because you won't have a chance to take rest. The four of swords means in the right way up meditation contemplation and evaluation perhaps you might not have time to make that choice to think about it because of these opportunities or offers coming in four means in the right way up the stability and productivity but as it is uh, upside down there won't be uh, um, stability in make in something perhaps there won't be stability of in of time be because we've got aries here the aries time it is also a very fast swift energy but this queen of swords she can bring in clarity okay because she will use her sword to get to the truth of things and find out what the uh, what the issue is if there are any issues because you can't take time out this week or take rest uh, like a midweek away or a weekend. Um, this means that you have to stay alert. But also if you can grab um, a, a pause, a 10 minute pause or something like that, do so. You've also got the 10 of pentacles here. Uh, no, 10 of courts is the 10 of cups. So you've got the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. Again, your wish is coming through. Sorry, no, this is the Ten of Cups, sorry. So twice the Ten of Cups. So yes, big, big uh, celebrations. I'm hearing christening. I'm hearing christening. Uh, weddings, well, I've already said that. Engagement parties. Or even, you, if you're not holding a party, you could be invited to a party or a celebration. Again, you could be moving home, expanding in the home. You might have the spring clean urge, moderating the home, modernizing. Uh, you could be going on holiday, making plans. I don't think you will, this, the Ten of Cups, uh, ten of cups here in the middle of the week and then making an, a 90 degrees angle um, here. Uh, it says no. You, um, 
you need a rest but you can't uh, for some reason or other you might be tied tied up in family situations as well perhaps somebody in the wedding uh, in the family is getting married and you have to help organize the wedding so you you if you can't take a holiday you will be um, planning a holiday or a birth this could be of a project uh, because of the ace of wands that is lying above it this could be work this could be promotion this card means promotion and recognition or a wage rise if you've applied for a loan to buy a house you will be getting that as wishes are going to be fulfilled you've also got the six of wands the six of wands means that you're moving away from difficult times rough waters going into smoother waters and quieter times so at the end of the week you can grab your rest <coughs> but don't sit on your laurels I don't think you've got a choice actually this week Virgo to sit on your laurels and get depressed because you might be in demand in the family something to do with the family or friends they might need your support or your help in some way do set your boundaries okay don't over um, don't over exceed your boundaries because you'll have to pay for it in the long run what is in the mind comes out in the body what is in the body comes out in the mind so don't get a burnout don't burn the candle on both sides somebody's telling me six means that you're more than halfway within a project or you're cook what you are cooking up this could be an idea coming out into the material world and it will bring you big recognition big results and good money success definitely well my darlings that is about all i can say a very could be a very emotional week so i'm glad that the queen of swords came in so if you're not dealing with a, the queen of swords then you could be um, or an emotional person uh, then you and this is your advice keep your emotions under control don't let your heart rule your head or your head your heart look at it from a practical point a, a pragmatic side uh, be practical and also cut straight through the core or the cut away the bs so that you can that clarity will come out like the here you've got the clouds i'm um, seeing the clouds here you've got blue skies so everything is clear so um remember if you're not feeling very well or comfortable in your own skin at the moment uh, i i believe you're going to cut through to get clarity and I think there is an offer coming in. Definitely it is a, a, an emotional week, but good emotions because you're moving away from difficulties or uh, difficult times. Take care, my beautiful Virgo, and know that I love you. And know that you are blessed by the divine with both these offers coming from the divine and your ancestors and your angels. Take care. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.